I got nothing right now. I gotta peel some shrimp. Meet Chef Vei Chong, the man behind one of Toronto's newest and hottest food pop-ups, Tapao. Each Thursday in Kensington Market, he opens up shop, cooking one delicious dish, Hakian Mi, a recipe he learned in Malaysia from the nephew of the guy who invented it. But that's not all. He's also a comedian and filmmaker, not to mention his music alter ego. While his creative ambitions go far beyond noodles, food has become his primary side hustle. So today I went to meet this multifaceted man to find out how his journey led him here. Everyone in Toronto has a side hustle. Did we come up with the word side hustle? I think we came up with the word side hustle. We got like two kinds of noodles in the pot now. We got some salt action, garlic, shrimp. So how did you choose this dish of all dishes to be your, your one showcase piece? Well, basically, I trained with the nephew of the guy who invented it. What was that experience like? We got an ass kicking. If you want to learn cooking, you just get an ass kicking. You go and you pledge, and then you basically tell them how humble you can be, you know. And he would use a newspaper and hold the wok that was burning at like, a thousand degrees and I was like okay you know I see what he's doing you learn a little bit from there you know the dish can be traced back to the Hokkien people who immigrated from China to Malaysia and wanted to make a dish that uses flavors that would remind them of home playing around with woks and charcoal and fire and then they're like oh my god pork and shrimp taste great pork and shrimp and garlic our country doesn't have a lot going on we're only good at badminton and squash but food you know we really love because we got all the spices from all these different like countries nearby they were just like what do we do with this you know so what was it like growing up in malaysia it's a british colony right so i had like british teachers and stuff you know and i would always like make fun of them hello yeah, exactly oh my god you know like can i have some noodles <laughs> uh you may not <laughs> right now he's only open once a week and he shared some insights into what that experience is like it's the restaurant business all encapsulated in one day i have to build my restaurant every week before the next day this entire fridge is dedicated to hockey and me. That's it. People are asking me to do other foods, but I'm like, dog, oh, this fridge is packed already. It's the hood. I mean, it's hood cooking. But regardless of the conditions, he serves up delicious hockey and me every time. That's delicious. And when I was done enjoying every last bite, it was time to start asking some real questions. He's not just the noodle guy, guys. There's more to him. He's a complex human being. How did you get into filmmaking? Okay, I started off as a comic. Okay, I've been doing all stages everywhere, all across Canada. I hit up a few stages in Malaysia too. Insulted the prime minister, got threatened with death, and now I'm here. Then I was like, okay, you know, like my friends, I feel like they're stagnating a little bit. This was like maybe like a 10 years ago. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start making short films. So we made a couple of sketches. Stephanie, you're not coming? Ah! They didn't do so well. Hi, I need a yoga professional. Yo, I'm here! But we're like, okay, what are we gonna do that no one else is doing? I'm like, let's make a feature. The feature they went on to make is called the Jerk Off Umentary, and it follows him and his friends doing the No Fap Challenge. One of us was like, hey, there's this crazy new thing that people are doing that they're not fapping for 90 days so that they get superpowers. And then during a second meeting, someone brings it up again. And by then, the sketch troupe had disintegrated, and so we're just like, all right, fine, we'll just do it. But making a feature is harder than you might expect, literally. If you like films that have taken more than 10 years to make because they didn't know how to make a film. We had to learn how to make a feature film because you can make a short film and put it on YouTube. Is your sound good? Is your color good? Do you have all the consent forms? Now it's on Amazon in the States. It's on Amazon. Yeah. How many people who walk in here know that? <laughs> they don't know. Have you ever thought about having like a TV behind the, the noodle making and just showing the <laughs> jerk off mentory behind the noodle making? The thing is, dude, I made that joke with my friends. I was like, oh, should I sell my music? Should I sell my film at the, at the same noodle place? And then they're like, you're insane. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. And I was just like, you're right. I'll just like tune out. I'll sell my noodle and just chill out. And then somehow I get article, article, article. I'm like, what? is going on <laughs> you kind of have to boil yourself down to a, to a bowl of noodles, like my noodles right? you know what I'm saying? but Vey's hidden talents don't stop there as he has multiple soundcloud releases under his alter ego mr vei sorry this is my alter ego including chatterbox my blender and my personal favorite biddy bap boys amazon wife oh yeah i bought my wife on amazon 
so that's my rapper friend I in uh, Montreal. Life. But I made the beat, and I was just like, "Can you spit on this?" Like and Marley was on. like, "Hell yeah!" And then he was like, "I bought my wife on Amazon." We like to get it on. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, how much time do I have? Five mi five minutes. After that, I can go take a lunch. It was clear that at the core of all these endeavors was a man who wanted to express himself and have fun with his friends. If they had a crazy idea, I'd be like, yeah, I'll back you. Independent film is like, how much can we really do, right? So like, we have to give as much as we can to the team. Basically, Basically we're just hanging out. And while they can't be defined by any one of his passions, he can be defined by his desire to bring joy. So go down and support your local Hakkien Mi hustler. If not by eating his noodles, by buying his movie. And next time you order noodles from a pop-up takeout place, take another look at the guy who's making them. Because you never know. Comedians really like food and can talk about it, but they don't have access to food. But chefs don't have access to time, but they have access to... Really simplifies things. <laughs> <laughs>